welcome to the wedding where the coppers are also accused of theft of each other's hearts. Am I right? <laughs> Love is not breathlessness, it is not excitement, it is not the promulgation of promises of eternal passion. That is just being in love. Love itself is what is left over when being in love has burned away, and that is both an art and a fortunate accident. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground, and when all pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree. Sam, but well, we finally made it, Bob. All that hard work well, takes two seconds. <laughs> All that hard work and stress has come to an end, and it's now our wedding day. I know these winding roads will lead me on to you. I'll go. To my dearest Andrew, from the beginning of our relationship, I deep down always knew we would be husband and wife, but it's still crazy to think it's actually happening. May we live a life filled with so much love, respect and fun times. Now I stand by your side. Andrew, you could not possibly have met and married someone more genuine, kind-hearted and well-suited to you than Sam. I knew from the first time you introduced us to Sam you were absolutely smitten. You bounce off each other and your unconditional love is clearly evident. It is said that the most precious possession that ever comes to a person is another's heart. Today we have watched Sam and Andrew gain the most precious possession in marrying each other. Sam, I know you've made a brother of ours the happiest man alive today. You and I side by side. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Historic Walla Long House for the wedding of Andrew Joseph Kersley and Samantha Jane Davidson. They turned up today because they really just want to have a massive party with you guys. The fact that they want to spend the rest of their lives together is kind of important too, I guess. My dearest Andrew, over the past four years you have shown me how to love unconditionally and how to accept to be loved. And for that, I promise to laugh with you in good times, to support you in the bad times, to offer you insolence when you were downhearted, to dry your tears with my love, to share with you all our greatest achievements, to play and cuddle with you until we grow old, and to always love you sweetly and glad gladly until our lives shall come to an end. From the moment our paths cross, you've captivated me, challenged me, and improved me in ways no other person has done before and I have fallen in love with you again and again. I promise to support and encourage you and to challenge and frustrate you. I promise to celebrate, celebrate your triumphs and stand with you against your troubles. I promise to be the man I see now in your eyes today, tomorrow and always. Give me an almighty cheer as I now introduce you to the newlyweds, Andrew and Samantha Kersley. Sam and I met in December 2014 at our team Christmas party. Uh, we didn't actually talk at all on this first meeting um, and I can only assume that it was because she was intimidated by my seniority. <laughs> Although we worked on the same team, we didn't actually work together for quite a few months. However, we slowly got to know each other and I think the turning point came when one day she said, 
I'd never date someone who drives a skyline. I knew then that it was my destiny to change her mind, and I think I succeeded. Gravitation cannot be held responsible for people falling in love. How on earth can you explain in terms of chemistry and physics so important a biological phenomenon as first love? Put your hand on a stove for a minute and it seems like an hour. Sit with that special person for an hour and it seems like a minute. Yeah, that's relativity.